This is a really awkward setup, but I told you guys I left my wig head at my friend's house, so I'm using my tripod for my ring light for the wig head. And I need it for this specific video. So I do apologize if I'm cut off. What was that guy's name on Proud Family? Who, uh, you could never see? Wizard Kelly. Okay, I got some Wizard Kelly, um, going on. You only seeing this. <laughs> whatever so hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you how you know i got the bangs that you guys see in the intro this is using a closure so some deets on this hair this is peruvian straight from lay hair they are the first hair company that i worked with so this is like definitely an honor this hair is extremely soft y'all and it's bone straight you know, didn't even have to flat on it. So I did just make the unit and then, you know, it's kind of in the state that I left it after I was done. So today we're going to be cutting it into a, you know, bangs type of hairstyle. Got some Kelly rolling going on, hopefully. You're going to need some mousse or something that will lay the hair down. Hold the hell up. Y'all, I look about five months pregnant. Okay, I'm not. I just want to let y'all know I had pizza. So, yeah, like I had like four pieces in a soda. So, I'm pretty looking pretty bloated. But let's just not focus on that at all. It's just some suave um, mousse. And then you're going to need shears, of course. And you're going to need like a little tape measure. One came with my sewing kit. Um, you can get them at Dollar Tree. So, get you one of those because it will help a lot. Um... So, yeah, I'm not going to talk throughout this. I'm just going to do it, and then I'm going to add a voiceover. So, if you guys want to see how I got my bangs in my closure, then keep watching. Okay, so, mainly until you get to the bangs, there's no cutting done. So, you're basically going to be just using your flat iron, a brush, and some mousse. So, I use my finger to, like, part the hair away because I didn't really care if the part was precise or not, whatever, you know. And basically, you're just going to part away hair until you have the amount of hair that you want for your bangs. So that can vary. Everyone's different. I wanted like a small portion. So basically, I'm going to keep repeating these steps. And that is just, you know, flat ironing the hair the way that I want it to go and then applying some mousse and brushing it on there because the mousse definitely is a huge you know a huge deal in this because you will need to um train the hair to stay if you don't have mousse or grease or something which I would recommend mousse over grease because you don't want no greasy wig um your hair is not going to lay flat. It's not going to go the direction you want it to. So make sure y'all get y'all some mousse. Like I said, the mousse that I'm using is suave. So that's like the cheapest shit in Walmart. So go ahead, get you some suave. And y'all hair going to be laid. And it'll stay in the direction. You know, there won't be no flyaways. But yeah, I'm going to shut up. But just continue that process of flat ironing it and moosing it and brushing it down. And you'll be good.
as y'all can see i got my tape measure and like i said i got this in a sewing kit and the kit was from dollar tree so all you gotta spend is a dollar for that you know about two dollars for your mousse and then you got some shears which is around the same price so you know you'll just need a total of like ten ten dollars to get your products so you can cut your wig oh crap. so this part i am just flat ironing all the hair to the front and then putting some mousse on it you know so it can stay that way Okay guys, so just gonna talk before I start to measure it on camera. So the um, the length that I had the measure on was about six and a half inches. So if you like how my bangs looked and you know, we got the kind of same size head or whatever, <laughs> then you'll probably just want to measure six and a half inches and then cut it like that. But I do recommend to put it on your head first and then, you know, try to just put a hair tie or a sectioner like where you want to cut because you never know everyone's head shape different you know i got big ass head y'all but we just gonna we gonna leave that for another topic um so yeah i would recommend doing that and then you're going to see me just cutting it and i didn't want to go straight across because i hate that choppy look but i didn't have no choice because i was not going to cut it on my head because the last time i cut it on my head y'all it was hair all up in my damn eye for days like little pieces of hair and i, I didn't want that this time so yeah i'm just gonna cut and then i'm gonna continue these steps that i did as far as like flat ironing it the way i wanted it to go and moosing it down and after I finished doing that, I just put it on my head and I trimmed a little bit more just because I wanted to. Um, and then that gave me the result that you guys are seeing at the end and in the intro. So, yeah. <laughs> So that is how I achieve these pretty ass bangs. Oh, grr. you know, I feel like an icy girl with these bangs. I feel really cute. So if you guys want to achieve the same look, then go ahead and follow this tutorial. Get your stuff and get you a closure and some bundles and you can look the same. But thank you guys so much for watching. Like always, I love y'all and I will see y'all in the next video.